Hello. I'm Michael. I'm Melissa. And we are a close-knit family. It is Wednesday, December 23rd, 2020, Christmas Adam, Season 3, Episode 8. Adam and Eve. Yes, Adam comes came Got before it. Eve, yes. Uh, we are a Nick cast from Armstrong, coming to you uh, from Armstrong in the North Okanagan region of British Columbia, Canada, following our ongoing yarn and knitting addictions and a somewhat... Newer on and off knitter. And and Melissa's Melissa's part of the family. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and candy making yeah. and, yeah. and yeah. things like that. Yeah. So if you missed it, Melissa helped me make the candy in mm -hmm. the complete fail candy making tasted good video. Mm -hmm. Okay. So did we already say Merry Christmas? Happy holidays. No, nope, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Happy, Happy Yule. Happy Solstice. Sol Solstice. Or if you don't celebrate anything, just take this as our opportunity to say we're sending you happiness. Yes. Yes. <laughs> or something like that. Yeah. Be happy. Yeah. Yay. The song I wrote. You might want to sing it, not for not, don't worry. Be happy. Anyway. <laughs> Be happy. <laughs> anyway. Uh, okay. Skies above Armstrong. We had a big dump of snow the other day. It wasn't. It was wet. It was wet. Mm -hmm. So if it had been dry, it would have been big this way. Yeah. But because it was wet, it was big this way and mm -hmm. so Stupid heavy. You weren't Very here heavy. when Dad was trying to shovel the driveway. No, but I shoveled out behind my car. He Lloyd said it was the worst he'd ever had to try to clear before. Mm. The snowblower couldn't move it, and it's like it's this. I mean, it's like it's like shoveling this much slush. Yeah, but it's like it's almost water. Mm -hmm. It's. Anyway, it was it was nasty. Yeah, I had to clear. Well, I, yeah, I had to clear out behind my car before I left. That oh, morning, that's good. So. Yeah, but then Dad, you probably didn't have the snow plow wash yet. I don't think so. Yeah, because then the plow comes and you get everything off yeah. the road, and it's had salt in it, so it's melty. Yeah. And bleh. It was bad. It was gross. It bad, was bad, gross. Bad. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. Melissa's wearing basket weave. I can't do a bit of light here, but <laughs> stand up a little bit. Just, you know. Yeah, basket weave, a design by Sue Gerns. Mm hmm Launched last year. Mm-hmm. Available on Ravelry in Sue Gerns <laughs> Ravelry shop. Yep. It's my favorite. Mm-hmm. You were yeah. wearing that at the mall the other day. I was. Yeah. And it's knit out of um, Juniper Moon Santa Cruz, which is their worsted weight, and it's a very nice, like, it's not itchy to wear, is no. it? No. It's, okay. it's soft. I mean, I've got layers on right now, but. Yeah. Um, it's a non-super wash yarn, and, um, yeah. Anyway, mm. basket weave. Basket weave. But yes. And just, you know, how does, how does it wear? Let's see. A little bit of pilling here. But not much, and she does wear it a lot. So, I do. so the the yarn itself um, wears very nicely. Mm -hmm. Yippers! Mm -hmm. So we've got Melissa with us for two weeks. Yeah, Yay. which is really nice. We you've been so today's Wednesday, and you've been here since Saturday morning, and um, we've managed to avoid a nuclear war up until yeah. this point in time and we're, we're, and we're gonna keep we're gonna keep <laughs> that up we're gonna yeah. listen to each other when we say uh mm, we're not talking about that <laughs> yeah this conversation <sighs> is mm -hmm. over <laughs> right about defcon 4 no we're not no we're not defcon 5 is no problem oh oh yes well i would say defcon defcon 4 I, We've had a couple little. But I mean, you, I mean, but right now. Oh no! Right now we're, we're Def Con 5. Five. Okay. I mean, okay. For me, merely existing is Def Con Four. So. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's good. And as a as a result of your last visit here, which was when we made candy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Was that your last visit yeah. here? So you'd never had one of the purple candies until uh -huh. you. Oh, okay. 
<sighs> so it wasn't actually your last visit here either. It was as a result of my candy making that didn't get videotaped that when I was vacuuming in the, um, in the kitchen yesterday and I had the vacuum and I had to, you know, the end off to really get in all the corners and stuff. And I got under uh, the dishwasher, which is under the counter that we were making candy on. Okay. I heard this like, <laughs> you know, come up the, up the up the vacuum thing. And then later on, when Lloyd was emptying out, he's like, "Why is there candy stuck inside?" <laughs> <laughs> so I guess when we were breaking the candy, or when I was breaking the candy, or it could have—I didn't ask him what kind of candy it was. Anyway, it was purple. I saw it at some point. So the candy hit the floor and got under the, anyway, the candy that keeps on giving. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, what have you got coming up? Oh, God, I, so, <laughs> I have a 12-hour overnight shift starting on December 24th at 6 p.m., going until December 25th at 6 a.m. Gross. At least all I'm going to be doing is, is, uh, thanks, Mom. All I'm going to be doing do <laughs> is picking orders. I don't actually, I'm not dealing with customers, so. Well, yeah, because you'll yeah. be closed. We'll be closed. And, yeah. uh, so that's yeah. in, that's getting ready for people who are going to come in on Boxing Day. Boxing Day, day yeah. People who, because uh, our Boxing Day prices go live after we close on tomorrow. And then right uh people are going to be putting in orders and i'm going to be there picking orders for them to pick up <gasps> on boxing day right and yeah it's, it's actually really nice what my employer has done they are uh anyone who's taking that shift gets gets a bonus on top of their time and a half so nice yeah. nice nice and it helps everyone it gets mm -hmm. it done and out of the way mm -hmm. so yeah we're gonna be so that means mike gets home from work at 6 a.m on christmas morning which is normally when we like to get up yeah. for christmas so That's we might kids. get to sleep in till 10 or 11. might get to sleep in yeah yeah okay i'm i'm going straight to bed Nine. as soon as i'm home <laughs> <laughs> i'm seeing the, the twinkle going on just sort of behind melissa's head here and that just makes me think of, of it's the annual argument between these two <laughs> of, of, you know, at that time that apparently is fairly imminent. No. <laughs> when there's no longer a me or, or a dad in the picture, who gets left the carousel? In, the, in, in our no, wills. So we're actually going to have to... Um, if anyone has a line on where I can get one... <laughs> <laughs> no, but I want that one. <laughs> you know what? By the time I'm done with you, you won't know which one's which. <laughs> what's, that? <laughs> what's that supposed to mean? So anyway, I'm, I'm actually... I'm sort of... I'm trying to keep my eye out for another one. Mm. So, so there's that... Oh, and I got to do Melissa's nails the other day. I mm -hmm. haven't got to do Melissa's nails for quite a while because... Is it yeah. going to focus on the glitter? Well, here, just... Uh, you have to just be sort of still. Because Anyway, so yeah, um, a, a fairly simple design, but I think it's a very nice design. I love it. Yeah, I'm Melissa picked the design. I just mm -hmm. made it happen. But yeah, because with her schooling and typing, she hasn't had... Nails. Mm -hmm. Mine are the same red and white as they were last time. Mine are plain. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't have anything on them right now. Which isn't always the case yeah. if you're newer. Yeah. A newer viewer, you won't, you wouldn't know that. Uh, we've been baking. We've we got have? more baking to do today. Ooh. Ginger spice. Ginger spice. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and possibly chocolate chip. <gasps> yes. So have um, I there's have that I told one you two that you're my favorite? <laughs> Maybe once or twice. Mm. Once or twice. Um, I I know I tell you that when you bring me my Ryan eggnog or yeah. my glass of wine. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever happens to be. What are you guys drinking? Coffee. Coffee. Just straight up coffee. Mine Mine's got Bailey's. Same. Bailey's. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I have water. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> anyway, but my good my good friend Julie. Mm-hmm. 
God, her name comes up a lot. Yeah, we love Julie. We love Julie. Um, Hi, she Julie. dropped Hi, off Julie. a something. I've heard about these, but I hadn't seen one before. So this is a hot chocolate bomb. This happens to be from Cotton's Chocolates in Vernon. Okay. But to give you an idea, sort of size. Uh, okay, that's a bit, yeah. Um, you know, it's about the size <laughs> of the top of a mug. Okay. And so I've heard about hot chocolate bombs, but I didn't really know what their deal was. And then... I was faced with one. <laughs> so I had to look up on the internet. What do you do with a hot chocolate bomb? So if you, like me, have, maybe you've never heard of a hot chocolate bomb, that's one thing. Now you're going to know what to do with it. You if, you've, if you've heard of them, but weren't quite sure what to do with one, here's the magic. You put the hot chocolate bomb in a mug and fill it up with warm, hot and then just like a bath bomb, it melts and disintegrates. And I guess you've got your hot chocolate powder, your marshmallows, oh. and all this yumminess in it too. What what was this? It was salted caramel, caramel Bailey's, Bailey's Irish something, cream. Something. Something hot chocolate bomb. It was a lot. Wow. It was a lot of things. Wow. So, um... Yeah, we're looking uh, looking forward to trying that out, and maybe maybe we'll video it and um, and show you either next time or whatever. But anyway, so that was kind of, that was a new thing for me, a hot chocolate bomb. I think that was all of that stuff. So we're on to. We are now yeah. on to yarn quizzes. This has been yarn quizzes. Yeah, that was, that was great. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Pose. 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 Finished object. You actually have something written down. I do. Ooh. Remember last week I said, ooh, but, you know, there's hope that we might actually have a foe. So I finished the socks that I had been working on. Oh, yeah. Using um, the Allison Barnes yarn. Mm -hmm. um, you'll notice that right about, well, here... The, I stopped using the red, which would have worked, continued to work its way up here, mm -hmm. because the red, the uh, it's more of a burgundy, um, is the color that Lloyd chose to knit his socks. Right, yes. And so I just wanted to make sure that he had as, had as much yarn as, as it was available mm -hmm. for, for making those socks. So yeah, I've been wearing these. They were actually in the wash, getting ready mm. to go get washed. I haven't blocked them. I just said, what the hell? But as usual, I'm wearing them and I've done nothing <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> about doing the ends because, because. because. Uh, yeah, I went to put on some of my knit socks um, the other day for work. And as I was putting them on, it was like, oh, I still haven't knit in the end. <laughs> <Woven in here. laughs> I've worn these socks several times. I always, I always think, oh, I'll be sitting, you know, where I, all my knitting stuff is, one, you know, one day and I'll have these and I'll just, you know, I'll just do the ends when I'm sitting there. Never works out. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. So anyway, so that is my faux using the yarn from Allison Barnes Yarn, her Struggle and Strength collection. Mm -hmm. I super like the way these came out. Mm -hmm. They make me very, very happy. So there's those. And just a slightly another, this is a faux from last year, <laughs> but it is season appropriate because... <laughs> Those are my Advent socks from nice. Cozy Knitter that yes. I knit last year. Yes. Hello, Jude. So, that's why you got to see my foot. Come here, Jude. Aren't you lucky? Yeah! <laughs> um, and so that's a 24 stripe repeat. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think that's our only foes. Yeah, So, I we got so. whips. whips. Work in the Progress. Yeah, I've... Can I baby blanket? Yeah, let's not, <laughs> let's not talk about it. You want to go back to about episode four? <laughs> and like you the... get into episode, what, three or two, three years ago? Something like that. You get introduced to Melissa's blanket that she'd been working on for two years at that time. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm working on, still working on some socks for that are meant for a friend. I They're do... definitely not going to make it for Christmas, unfortunately, but... That's okay. So yeah, this is what they are looking like right now. 
Whoops. Sure. Oh, so I'll tie, I'll tie it, I'll knot it up. But uh, yeah, so here they are using a um, crazy zauber ball for the main color. I love the way they're striping. Yes, it is very nice. And I do have, and last time we talked, I talked about how uh, basically my other needles were broken and unusable. Oh, right. So I picked up uh, at the recommendation of mom some new chow goos. So those are 2.5s? Yes, 2.5 millimeters. Um, I also had to pick up a cord for them, and I overestimated the length of the cord I would need. Never. For for Magic Loop, the bigger the cord, the better. Yeah, it's just very slippy and slidey around. And okay. It can be a little little annoying to deal with sometimes. So they're interchangeable. Uh, yeah, they're interchangeable needles. They're, um, uh, yeah, they're interchangeable chow goos. So if I pick up more cords or more needles, I can swap them in and out and uh yeah and how, how do you how do you like so he had uh they were knitter's pride, knitter's wooden, pride needles. wooden needles before yep um yeah these are these are really good they're very slippery which is uh yeah that's there's pros and cons to that mm -hmm. and i'm just trying to find the tag for these balls so that I can tell you exactly what I used for them. Shut up. My um, tag is balls. Okay, so ah, the... Sorry, I couldn't help The it. contrasting blue color is a Diamond Luxury Tradition... Drum Diamond Luxury Tradition sock. In, uh... Yeah, in, um... Sock weight, 42 wool, 51 acrylic, 7 nylon. And the main color is a uh, Crazy Zauber Ball. And uh, that is, this one is colorway number 2136. There you go. So, oh, Jude's got a pom-pom she's playing with. Yep. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's my whips. If Yes, if you're new to <coughs> us and you haven't met <coughs> Jude before, the cat that I was petting, um, her name is Jude. And she, if, if we're doing this, it's because she's just over there doing, you know, cat stuff with a little pom-pom. Mm-hmm. -pom. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay, so my whips, somewhat similar to Michael's, mm -hmm. is another pair of socks. So I am knitting these socks. Ooh! Again, these are out of um, Allison Barnes' yarn, the same yarn as these. Only obviously with a different kind of a striping pattern mm -hmm. and that little bit of gold in between the blue and the green mm -hmm. um, so these are for cool cam oh. And, oh no I don't um, so these are are larger this way than I usually make them because mm -hmm. and, and I should have cool cam stitch markers on here but I don't um, and for those of you who may be new to the podcast, Cool Cam is Sue's brother. He's called Cool Cam because when Mike was little I and he first started trying to say Uncle Cam, it came out as Cool Cam. Cool Cam. And my brother, being my brother, said Cool Cam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how it stayed. Yeah. It's been Cool Cam ever since. <clears throat> so um, I am super liking how this stripe pattern is coming out with the, the, well, the two colors and then with the gold, just highlighting each one. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty darn happy with those. And I have these in my ball sack. Mm -hmm. So this is actually sock sack. Um, so in the sock sack, it's got the two compartments on either side of a zippered compartment. And then it's got this, these little, there's one on each side, guides for your yarn to help keep your yarn management under control mm -hmm. so you don't end up with a complete rat's nest mm -hmm. of yarn. And with just paying a little bit of attention, I know people are like, how can you keep like two, three, I've basically got six balls of yarn going here yeah. without it turning into a complete mess. And it's like, you know, yeah, it can turn into a complete mess. There's no doubt about that but with if you just pay a little bit of attention mm -hmm. when you're switching yarns when you turn your work and sort of stop and go okay if I 
bring this over here. Everything's straight again. Mm -hmm. Remember Jesse straightening out my rat's nest? Like oh a my gosh, <laughs> he had, yes. He had the flipper. Right. And you were winding right. it around the flipper. But you know what? That is actually like legitimate because there are nostapinas. Sorry, yes. And I have used like a wooden spoon mm -hmm. for doing yarn winding. Huh? I, um, I'm on, um, I'm a member of the knitting subreddit and someone posted in there the other day about how they had a, like a, I think they were, they were frogging something and they need, they didn't have anything to wind the yarn back onto. So their engineer husband came up with a cardboard box on a, on a turntable, on a vinyl turntable that they were then winding the whole yarn around. <laughs> Interesting. Mm-hmm. And then they later... Oh, no, we don't have a turntable anymore. Is that our problem? I thought we had a turntable. I th I'm sure there's still a turn... <laughs> I think there's a turntable downstairs. That's at work, otherwise I'd ask him. I'm trying to remember what the... What the... Vinyl is... Why we can't listen to vinyl. But anyway. Okay. I know Dad made got all his vinyls into digital. Did he? But, yeah. All of them? I think so. All the ones he has. I don't think so. Okay. Anyway, so um, I think I had started or I was about to start working on my crochet project. You had started it. From Nana's Crafty House. Yeah, crochet, your crochet along. Yeah, Nana, Nana's yeah Crafty House. So these are the four colors mm -hmm. that I'm working with. I am... 95% sure that I'm going to run out of yarn and for that reason and the reason that I've decided that yeah crochet is not really my bag oh <clears throat> crochet not my bag um I've I'm sort of modifying <laughs> I'm doing a sue modification anyway this is where I am at right now. Oh, it's beautiful. Gorgeous. And let me think here. Um, this center, this, the center of this bobble row is um, the center widthwise of this uh, shawl. Okay. So this section right here, which I'm sure you can tell is somewhat less ornate mm -hmm. than any other section. It's the same, but not. It's it's a repetition of this section, but without all the um, fancy dancy stuff. Mm -hmm. And so now, basically, I'm just going to, to compete. Like I'll be doing this. Whoops, this section next. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Or do I do balls next? No, so yeah, I'm on this section. I'll do this, and then I'll do another some more balls, and then I'll do this. So I'll do these rows again. I really hated this section. <laughs> um, so that's been really taking up most of my time is working on that. So it is, it's a shawl, mm -hmm. and it's going to have pockets on the ends so that it can be. It's got pockets. Yeah, it'll be wrapped around. When it's worn. Oh, and then it has the little and handy, then, the little handy. And then these ends things. are pockets, so you can okay. have your hands in pockets when you're all wrapped mm -hmm. up warm in this schlanket. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's been taking up um, a lot of my time, but because I'm not really in love with crochet, um, surprisingly, I'm really enjoying those socks I'm knitting. So. <laughs> So they've been getting a lot more of my attention and again just sort of to try to clear up the house for just so it's a bit tidier for yeah. Christmas um, I put all my other knitting stuff away mm -hmm. and um, so that's that's what I am um, have been working on alrighty all right so Melissa, Melissa. Oh, what do you bring to the table Jesus, that was intimidating that's a switch hey uh, villainous. Which, D Disney's villainous. Disney's villainous. Yes. So the it's become one of my favorites. Move over towards Mike a little bit. Um, I've got 
all of the currently available expansions for it. Mm -hmm. um, but basically, you're playing as a Disney villain uh, working to achieve a goal that is kind of in fitting with their storyline. Mm -hmm. Sorry, um, just kidding. No. <laughs> and it's kind of interesting. Everybody who plays, you're playing for a, like to achieve a different goal. Everybody's playing their own game. But then you can sabotage the other people as they try and achieve their goals. So it's kind of... Mm -hmm. Yeah, like each player is playing a different villain mm. and has completely different rules. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the core rules are the same for everyone, but every villain puts their own twist on it. Yeah, because like I was, um, I've been playing as Radigan because he's one of my favorite. Mm -hmm. Radigan from The Great Mouse Detective. <laughs> yeah. um, and um, Radigan. By the way, to be clear, Radigan not in the base set, but in one of the expansions. Yes. Just, in, just in case you yeah. buy this expecting Radigan. Anyway, yeah. So and yes, buy this. <laughs> yes. It's such a fun game. Radigan had to get the robot queen to Buckingham Palace. From his secret lair to Buckingham Palace. Yeah. If he did that, he won. Yeah. However. If the robot queen got removed by from the game before that happened, then Radigan had to defeat Basil. And then my cards and things... Um, You've got allies, and you. But it was. Um, I don't know how to play. Just... Playing the queen, the robot queen, is very expensive. Yes, in, I in needed the, to gain power in the game's resources. So Radigan's entire deck is built around making the queen cheaper to play. Mm -hmm. And then all of his, all of his, uh, all the heroes in his story, all that we play to sabotage her are about getting rid of those cards that make the Robot Queen easier to play. Yeah. Where Melissa was playing the uh, Evil Queen from Snow White, and hers was all about spells and potions and curses and... And mm -hmm. poison. And poison and, mm -hmm. and stuff. And you were playing... Last time I played as Jafar, who had to get... Uh, who had to open up the Cave of Secrets, find the lamp, Get the lamp to the Wonder, Sultan's palace. Cave of sorry, Cave of Wonders. <laughs> yeah. Get the lamp to the Sultan's palace, and also have Genie hypnotized under his control. Yeah, I had to. I just had to defeat Snow White, but I had to unlock the dwarf's cottage in order to do that. First. Yeah, and so cultivate they're... enough poison to do yeah. it. Yeah, and... yeah. So that's what I mean by everyone's playing a different game. Yeah, before and before I played Jafar, I played Pete. Yeah, uh, who just had four four out of five secret objectives. That he could look at, but no one else could. Right. And, and right. So we didn't know what his goals were. Yeah. Yeah. Which you I thought you, was you had an you had ideas of what my goals could be. No, I didn't. I thought oh. it was interesting because it made it harder to strategize about who I was going to sabotage. Right. Yeah. Not knowing because I didn't know how close you were. Yeah. So that was an interesting. So mm -hmm. that's villainous Villain disney's villainous and um yeah lots of fun yeah lots and of what, what did we say two to oh two to... right <clears throat> here melissa read this line uh two to six players ages 10 and up uh it's about 40 minutes to 120 minutes it depends our um, games were pretty long yeah with uh i think I... with the expansion packs you can have more like more players i don't know I don't know either. There are there are six heroes in the ba villains, sorry, in the base game, and then there are three expansions, each with three yeah. more villains. Yeah, good fun, good mm -hmm. fun. Yeah. I, mean, I think a great family game. A very good family yeah. game. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's definitely. I would definitely say it's a, it's a bit on the heavier end of family games, but it's not it's not a heavy strategy game like some of the other games that I have in my collection. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, good one. So Mike and I played, um, Mike's recommendation from last week. Sagrada, S yeah. Sagrada. And, um, that was, that was another, that was another good one. It was a really interesting puzzle. Yeah. Yeah. To try to get your most points and mm -hmm. make the best use of, uh, and to understand what was going on. Yeah. I think, I think, um, I, both of us would definitely benefit with a second playthrough of that. Oh, absolutely. And, uh, yeah. And I again, it's another one I can I could see yeah a family 
mm -hmm. getting into because, um, yeah, for lots of reasons, I could see younger. It's colorful. Younger kids, <laughs> but but also you've got the, like fr from a, a learning perspective, mm -hmm. right? You've got the the matching the numbers, the paying attention to surroundings, mm -hmm. the matching the colors, that like mm -hmm. the whole. Yeah, it was it was another great one. That Sagrada, yeah. which was Mike's recommendation from last week. From so Floodgate Games. Yeah. You can oh, and, look and back and at episode seven towards mm -hmm. the end if you yep. want to see what that one and is. And Villainous is from Ravensburger Games. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's about it. Yeah. So yeah, we've we've just got um yeah, Christmas coming, Robin's mm -hmm. coming out today. Mm -hmm. Yay. Um and his girlfriend is my best friend. <laughs> I'm very lucky in that way. Yes. Um, so yes. from our family to yours, the Happy best holidays. Of, of everything at this time. Mm -hmm. Don't know if we'll see you before next year. Um, <laughs> and um, we're going to just pretend 2020 never happened. <laughs> you say that at the end of all the, every, every year recently. We're just going to like... <sighs> 2020 didn't exist. I hope everyone's happy and healthy and mm -hmm. uh, enjoying life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And thank you for joining us today. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It uh, really helps us out here on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Close Knit Family Knitcast. Join us on Ravelry. All the information for that will be on the end card and in the description. And as always, Keeping keep your, your knitting close, close and, and your, your family closer. closer. <laughs> Bye. Bye.